The dog days of summer continue winding down, but a different kind of dog is just getting started. We visit the Fawson Greyhound's second day of high school football practice. Set. The Fawson football team soared to a record of 9-2 last season. The Greyhounds quickly went from underdog to top dog after winning only two games in the previous three seasons. Fawson knows it will be challenging to stay on top. The work ethic is pretty good so far, what I've seen and no one's backing down. The 2015 Hounds will look a lot different. Eric Ockrey takes over as the new head coach after 10 seasons as an assistant coach in the program. We want to represent the, the, the values of just good young men, hard workers, uh, commitment to something bigger than themselves. Faustin also turns to a new quarterback. The front runners for the job are junior Jesse Sather and sophomore Brett Sundquist. The kid that executes better and, and work, works harder and takes command, you know, will get it. Whoever wins the job will receive help from returning starting running back Sam Manike and plenty of large bodies on the offensive line. Our line's pretty good. We got a couple of guys coming back to the line, you know, big guys. Hopefully we can we can be real we can be physical. You know, and we can kind of control the game that way. The large hunks of humanity will help plug up holes on defense, too. We have all their linemen coming back. We have some good linebackers coming back as well. Faustin also gains a lot of depth, increasing the roster from 22 last season to 35 this season. If someone gets hurt, we can bring someone in. Like last year, that was what we were so worried about, is we had so few players. Hopefully, the larger number of players will produce a larger number of wins. And Fawson will start the season at home against Red Lake on Saturday, August 22nd at 7 o'clock. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.